Let them folks figure it out for themselves. You do not always have to say, I got it. I do it. Don't worry about it. I figure it out. You will literally take on somebody else's problems. If somebody else don't got it, you'll figure out a way to come up with it. These people do not have the same work ethic as you. These people do not have the same giving nature as you. Sometimes you will leave yourself feeling used because you will offer to fill in where there is lack. But I wanna ask you, who is offering to fill in where there is lack on your behalf? How many times do they step up and say, don't worry about it, I got you. I got it. I'll figure it out, I'll take care of it. They don't, they don't, they don't. And if they do, it's because um, they're benefiting something from the situation. You will give and give and give and give until you ain't got no more left to give. You will give your last and literally be sitting empty without because you have given your last, your last dollar. You have you 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 will you will go without um, getting your own stuff done because you will give somebody your last piece of time, your valuable time. You will literally give up the knowledge and the wisdom that you have, that you worked hard to learn. You'll give that game away for free to people. You have a generous spirit, a generous nature about you. You have a giving heart. You are so loving and so kind, but these people taking it for weakness. And some of y'all, you want to know something? You want to know something? How many of y'all ever been in, in a situation where the people you love, when y'all get into an argument, the first thing they want to call you is the B word? Oh, you a B. Or oh, whatever B. A broke B. A B, 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 something. They call you something with a B, right? Now, let me just, I want to tell you what I think about that, right? Though they mean it in a derogatory, hurtful way, right? When you sit around and keep giving and giving and giving and giving and you allowing these people to take and take and take and take and take, you know how we have another term um, when we speaking about a thing and we be like, man, he, that, that, you done made that person into your B. You know what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, some of us put ourselves in position to be that B word for other people. You get what I'm saying? It's kind of like people pleasing. A do boy. A do girl. And though you're not seeing it in that way, because you have this Christ-like nature about yourself, you got this loving nature about yourself, you got this giving nature about yourself, you'll give your last, you'll open your door to anybody, you'll go out your way and give somebody the last little bit of food that you got. You will spend your last dollars on people when they won't spend their last dollars on you. You'll go out and feed them and their children. But when it comes to you and yours, you got to get the money up. They don't even come look out for you how you look out for them. Come on, man. Come on, man. When it's time for a crisis, they calling you up. Can you help do X, Y, Z? But when it, when you need somebody, they give you attitude. They shrug you off. I don't got time right now. I got other stuff to do. But if something go down, they hitting your line. They hitting your line. And you'll just come, just because that's in your nature, you'll just get up and go see what, go see about them. You got this protective, this protector spirit about yourself. Like you, you're nurturing. You're, you're like, you're a good shepherd. You're a good steward. You take care of the things that are, that you come into contact with. Even if it ain't yours. How many, how many times have you went in your wallet to feed somebody else? Come on now. I'm, <laughs> child. What's that song? I think you better call Tyrone. And what she said? She got to pay your way and your homeboy's way. And sometimes your cousin's way. They ain't never got to pay. Child, how many of y'all is out here in situations? And we're not just talking about no men. We're talking about everybody. How many of y'all literally pay other people way and they don't never got to pay? 
How many of y'all let people come stay at your house and they don't never, they just come eat up all your stuff, drink up all your stuff, tell up all your stuff, spill stuff all over your place, leave your house in a mess and you got to sit there and clean it up. But you done offered your space as a, as a home for somebody, as a hangout for somebody, as a chill spot, as a getaway for somebody. Are you getting what I'm saying? You're just giving and giving and giving and giving and these people are just taking. They need a ride, you'll give you you'll get up and get them a ride at the, at the drop of a dime. You'll chauffeur them somewhere at the drop of a dime. But if you need a ride, uh, I got something else to do. Uh, I, I don't got no gas for that. I, I, I'm tired. Hey man, I'm gonna hit you back. These people don't never have nothing to give you. They don't never have a, a favor to return to you. You have such a giving nature about yourself. These people come see about you after they get what they need to get done. Let's go to the next subject. How many of y'all are able to do a certain thing? You have a certain skill about yourself. You have a certain skill that you have mastered. And see, they'll go out and pay somebody else to do this same skill. But when they money running short, when they when they running short or they got other things to do, then on the back end, they'll come around. Hey, you think you could do X, Y, Z for me? You pay them hundreds of dollars. But when it comes to you, they don't want to pay you nothing. And if they do ever pay you, it's literally pennies on the dollar. They want your services for free. These people don't never got nothing to give. If you ask them for a tenth of what they ask you for, you cannot get it. It's like pulling teeth. Come on, man. Wake up. I'm not telling you to stop giving. I'm telling you to redirect your giving. Give to those who are in need. Some of these people, they are using you. Taking advantage of you. You feel depleted. And some of y'all, y'all got this giving nature about yourself. Child, you 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 want people to love you, and it stems from childhood, and you ain't paying attention. You you buy people anything. It's almost like trying to buy love, buy friendship, buy approval. Trying to trying to keep everybody at peace with you. No, baby, you you you, you will give 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 give. And so, okay, let me say this right here. Some of y'all, that's y'all love language. You love to give. You you love acts of service. You love to serve. You have a servant nature about you. You'll serve until you can't serve no more. And then these people, they take and take and take and take and take. But see, they're not understanding. They thinking that they hit a sweet lick. They thinking that you stupid. They looking at you from a predator's view. Wanted to gain off of you. Wanted to leech off of you. When they don't even realize you really standing in the face of a blessing. I want to give to you. I want to I want to share with you. I want to I want to I want to do all these things with you, but you're not viewing me for who I am. You're viewing me for what you can take from me, from what you can steal from me. Some of these people view you as a well that would never run dry, baby, and they're going to keep on getting that water up out of you. They're going to keep on sucking it up out of you until it runs dry for real. And then you sit back and you be sad. When things don't work out, you be sad when people disappoint you. Everybody does not, they don't have the same heart as you. You'll be, you'll be in these relationships and you feel like I gave you all I had. I gave you all I got. And this is how you do me? For one, make sure when you give into people that you give in with no, with nothing. I don't expect nothing in return. Because if you set up expectations, you're going to get yourself disappointed. And, and if you set up expectations, then it's not really genuine. It's not really sincere. That's a transaction. Make sure you're giving from the heart. Most of us give from the heart, you know. Check this out. When 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 you giving and giving and giving and you, and you want these people to love you in return, you just you want appreciation in return. And, and when you don't get those things, you feel empty. But see, that's why, and, and you be bitter and mad and angry. And I, I want all my, some of these people, some of y'all on here, y'all get like that. I want my stuff back. I want my time back. I want my money back. I want my energy back. I want my, I want whatever I gave you. I want it back. Or you feel cheated. See, that's when you need to understand that you need to do all things as if you were serving God. 
And that'll kill all that bitterness and resentment right there, that unforgiveness right there. Do all things as if you were serving God. When you look at your person, when you look at your family, your friends, when you look at these people, these haters, these naysayers and doubters, when you look at these takers, when you look at these skeezers, when you're looking at these false people, these these scammers and schemers and, and fake business deals, and they get you, and they take your stuff and run off with your good things, baby. Look at them and just know, hey, I see your heart, but I but but just know that I do all things as if I'm serving the Lord. They can't hurt you. They ain't necessarily even took from you. They take it from the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you another thing. With these people who take and take and take and take and take, they can take all that they want, but God is going to give it right back, baby. Have you ever noticed that you, have you ever felt some kind of way and you be like, dang, man, they know they didn't have to do me like that. Or they know they didn't have to take that from me. Or they know, you know, the word tells us when people take things from us, don't try to go get it back anyway, you know. But I'm going I'm to tell you this right here. Have you ever paid attention to how when, when you feel some kind of way a little bit, but you don't make no fuss about it and somebody then took something from you or used you for something? Have you ever noticed how God turned around and restored? He give it back to you or he give you more? Yeah. Yeah. So don't worry. Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Some of y'all is in the midst of takers. You will get up out your bed all times of night just to make something happen for somebody else who would not even get out their bed for you. And if they did, they're going to give you a hard day, a hard time about it. Bring up what they did for you. Some of y'all is just genuinely giving. You're giving freely to people when they give to you. Oh, it's like a... A, 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 a weight over your back at that point and some hanging over your head I did such and such for you I did this for you well I do this and I took care of that and I da 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 these people they don't even know what love is they don't know how to love they don't know how to treat you they don't know how to steward the blessing they don't know how to give freely they stingy they stingy they're self serving they're, they're, they're like things that's, um, that allows them to be self-indulgent or indulging, whatever. They like things like that. Have you ever heard people say, well, if it, it help me help you or it ain't benefiting me. If it ain't benefiting me, I don't want nothing to do with it. True enough, I get, see, it's a fine line between that. Some people really mean that because they, they, are, they are users. But then some people, when they say it's not benefiting me, you need to get to the point where if it ain't benefiting you, it's not worth it. it if it's not pouring into you, if it's not bringing you peace, everything. See, some of these people, they looking for gains in a, in a worldly way. But we're looking for gains in a spiritual way. Is it bringing me peace? Is it bringing me security? Is it bringing me just warmth, comfort? joy happiness those things are free is it is it respecting me is it honoring me those things are free some of y'all is giving to people you'll get up and do it you'll, <coughs> you'll do anything to please somebody who will turn around and cuss you out call you all type of bees broke ugly Talk about your body. Talk about your clothes. Talk about what you ain't got. Some of y'all is laid up with people who treat you like that. Some of y'all is taking care of people's children. And, and not only is it taking care of other people's children, these might be your children too. And then that person turn around and cuss you out like a dog. When you the one that nurture and take care of their child. Provide for their child. Look after their child. Embrace their child. Come on now. Educate their child. Uplift their child. But they but but while you're in possession of the blessing, they tearing you down. In a way, they're still not understanding that you're still giving. You got their seed. You share that seed with them. And you pouring into them. Go ahead. And you pouring into them. And they not understand that that's still a part of them too. I'm still giving. Yeah. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Yo. 
y'all some of y'all is dealing with real deal takers takers man takers they look at you as an advantage some of these people i'm gonna tell you another side to it right some of these people look at you as less than so honestly they cannot value what you bring to the table anyway some of these people is ungrateful your little bit oh it don't matter even though some of y'all don't have a lot when you try to bring what you can to the table it's still never enough they'll just take that but disregard it <laughs> what what can i do with that little bit what can i do with that little bit i'm gonna tell you right now a taker don't have no limits for a giver have you ever given somebody a card or some type of something financial and you tell them hey only use this much and then they go over the limit and you like dang that's all i got like how you gonna just how you just gonna take my stuff like that that's what these people do a taker don't have no limit you'll tell them hey only use this amount you got other responsibilities not only that that's just things that are reserved for you but a taker a uh uh and a a, a a person that's coming to drain you they will literally go over the limit that you set it's the same way spiritually mentally physically these people, they don't have no limit, baby. They'll keep taking and taking and taking and taking and taking and taking. Whether it be your time, they'll take it. How many of y'all had stuff to do? You had your own stuff to get done. But because somebody hit you and needed you in that moment, no matter how big or small it was, you put yourself on the back burner to tend to somebody else. Stop people pleasing. I'm going to tell you something. You cannot buy love. You cannot buy appreciation. You cannot buy respect. You cannot buy um, relationships, friendships, family. You can't buy these people. Some of y'all sitting around looking for ways to bless other people. When I get XYZ, I'm going to do XYZ for you. They wouldn't do it for you. You sitting around here, these people have not even, um, they're not acknowledging the one who blesses and not putting ourselves on the level as God. Some of these people in the world, really, they, they still don't acknowledge the one who blesses. They don't acknowledge God. But truth be told, in the everyday sense, the one who's carrying God's spirit, his chosen one, his anointed vessel, these people do not recognize the blesser they don't recognize a blessing they don't recognize themselves as being blessed through you little old you come on dog come on dog come on man stop offering to fix everything for these people stop stepping up to the plate for everything sit back and let them figure it out on their own because when you was down and out when you didn't have nothing you had to figure it out on your own you always got to make some shake on your own these people don't bring nothing to the table for you they just sitting at your table watching you whispering about you judging you pointing a finger at you looking down on at you but they sitting at your table eating your food eating with you laughing with you giggling with you trust no one in this hour make sure the people that you dealing with is genuine make sure they 100 yeah you gonna notice the people who give to you and do for you as well they ain't sitting back counting oh well i normally i mean this I only got enough for me. That'll never come out their mouth. Notice the people who are generous and genuine with you. They'll come giving to you. You're, you will recognize a giver because you are a giver. You will recognize um, just a, a, a generous, sweet, kind, nurturing person because you have that same spirit. But I'm going to tell you another thing. Some of y'all have been burned so bad that even when those type of people come around, you don't you don't feel like you can receive. It's hard for you to receive. You can give easy, but when people try to give to you, 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 I, no, it's good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. God is sending you somebody in this hour who is going to pour out blessings to you. 
They're going to give to you with no stipulations. They're going to give to you freely. They're, they're, they it come, let me tell you something. Their love don't cost a thing. Their respect don't cost a thing. Their appreciation don't cost a thing. People are going to give to you because they are just because I hey, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I, I cherish you. I value you. Uh, you need help with anything? I, I, it's just in them to, 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 to do the same for you. Whether you return it or not, they just still want to pour into you. God is going to send people who want to pour into you. He finna clear out them takers. Cause it's like they stripping his house down. They strip they stripping his temple down. They're using his, his temple for, for, for their benefits. No, that ain't how they go, please. That ain't how they go. Things is changing up in this hour. Come on with it, man. God is sending you some good people. Some generous people. Yeah. We, it's time out for these takers. It's time out for that. It's a wrap for that.